What's going on guys? It's your boy Peter and I'm back again with another video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to become an aircraft maintenance engineer. Um, this information is based on 2023 and so in the next future everything might change and also this information is based on people in Canada. So I don't know what the rules are in different countries but here in Canada I'm going to give you the ways to become an aircraft maintenance engineer. Um, to my belief and experience, there are two ways you can become an aircraft maintenance engineer. Um, the first one is to go to college. So you have to go to a college or apply to a college that is approved by Transport Canada. Um, probably in the next feature, I'll make a video of what the schools in Canada that actually are approved by Transport Canada and you can get your AME aircraft maintenance engineer diploma from um, so I believe you have to go to school for two years um, and you have to pass the school you have to graduate with accreditation that means all your courses has to be 70% above um, which I really recommend everyone to try for like 80% because the courses could be more difficult um, it's a lot of um, math physics and uh, rules regulation like cars so you have to go to school for two years and after graduation from school you have to do an apprenticeship a uh, two years apprenticeship so you have to work in a approved facility facility maintenance facility for two years then after um, after your two years apprenticeship then you write one exam which is called a CARS exam. Um, it's a really easy exam. So once you write your exam, the CARS exam, you get your license as an aircraft maintenance engineer. Um, the second way is to go to an aircraft maintenance facility and work there as an apprentice for four years, um, which could be hard most of the time because a lot of companies prefer uh, people that come out from college and have a diploma and accredited uh, but sometimes you're lucky to get jobs in a small company like a MRO company um, I have a couple friends that actually went through that route and you know they're doing well right now they have the license right now so you can get a job in a maintenance facility work there for instead of two years you have to work there for four years uh, after working as an apprentice for four years, then you write four exams. I believe it's airframe, cars, and some other exams. I'll make a video on that. So instead of writing one exam after graduation from school, you have to write four exams after your apprenticeship, after the four years apprenticeship. So after you write your four, uh, four years apprenticeship exam, um, then you can get your uh, your license. Uh, I will try to make more videos on schools and you know what to expect in your course uh, as an aircraft maintenance engineer. Um, hopefully, these I try to make it uh, quick as possible. Um, hopefully, this information is helpful to helpful to somebody out there. And um, if you guys have more information or you have any questions, uh, you can always send me an email or drop it in the comment section and uh, i'll be so happy to help somebody out there um don't forget to like subscribe and um share this video love you boys